I don't mind. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Before I start working on the Acura, please help me subscribe to my channel. Click that bell notification so every time I have a new video, you guys will be updated. But I'm working on a uh, 2010 Acura RDX 2.3. So right now, the uh, check engine light is on for the EVAP system leak. Small leak and large leak. So right now, the customer complaint is sometimes the check engine light on and then sometimes it will be off. So when I uh, scan the code, this is the uh, two code that came up. Permanent, there's nothing temporary, which is now. So this is the true code for the EVAP. Right now for me to smoke leak test the EVAP system, I have to take out the air box right here to get to the uh, perch valve. Uh, I have my smoke leak machine here, have it on, the ball is flowing, turn the uh, smoke up. Um, here's the, uh, my plug right here. So where I'm putting in is, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna show you. So once you take out the uh, air box, you're gonna get to this perch valve right here, this little uh, thing right here. So I disconnect the tube right there, you can see. Now I'm gonna take out the tube. That's the tube right here. I'm not sure if you can see the perch valve. This is the perch valve right here. And then the other side of the uh, EVAP line. I'm gonna put the, uh, I'm gonna put my smoke. I'm gonna show this, this is gonna go all the way to the uh, back of the uh, fuel, fuel, uh, fuel tank and the gas cap and everything. So this is checking the EVAP system for a uh, leak. So I'm gonna let it run and I'm gonna check where the uh, bottom of the uh, canister, the fuel tank, see where it leaking. The uh, EVAP system small leak uh, code, usually you wanna check the uh, gas cap first, but uh, this uh, customer, she changed out her gas cap already. Uh, this one is, she bought it original from uh, Acra. So the seal is all good everything so the uh, usually the small evap leak code is checked for the gas cap first and then the large leak i have to test it there you go for the uh, evap system i pinch out the uh, breather holes right here after the canister filter um i keep the smoke inside the uh, evap system and i found the leak this is the uh, canister that's the uh, filter so from there i'm not worrying about it so i found the leak where the canister is very clearly that crack right there you can see the smoke is coming out of that crack so this is a uh, bad canister because it cracked already yeah, you can see the smoke right there now for the canister there's three bolts holding onto it two 10 millimeter one on this side too and I took out the cover the half cover right here that's where I see the smoke lingering out so very clearly found the leak guys so right there yep i bought another used one from lkq this one cost me a hundred dollar if you want to buy a brand new one it's going to cost you around four hundred dollar so uh, for the connector here you're going to press on this tab pull connector here press on this tab pull this holes right here you're going to pinch onto this two lock right here press on both sides here and pull to the side um for this one, you're gonna press on this white tab and pull the um, hose back. There you go. I'm gonna test it one more time with the uh, smoke leak test. I'm gonna put it in here and I'm gonna block the other end to see if there's any um, smoke leaking out. If it doesn't leak out, then it's good. You can see my uh, other used one right here. This is the new one. I'm turning up the uh, flow. So I already uh, capped the end of this already. I cap this end, you see it coming out on this end, and if I close it, the ball should drop. See there's no more smoke coming out, and the ball drop all the way. So this is a good canister. All the uh, smoke stays inside, it doesn't leak out, so this one is good. My uh, Remember my old one, it cracks right here, you can see it, so this is the bad one. I'll put it back the same way, um, the old canister, so make sure you guys check the uh, line here. Make sure you check the pin this side is not damaged, bent, or corroded. Check the uh, wires in the back. Make sure it's not broken or ripped. This one's good. This one's also good. No broken wires. Everything is good. So I'm just going to put the whole assembly back up. And I got everything back to original place already. Everything is good. That's how exactly everything goes. There you go. Plug back the two connector too, so everything is good. Now I'm gonna key on, and then I'm gonna show you the uh, check engine light again before I clear it. So, there you go. There you go. Check 
go. That's the evap leak right there. So this whole job took me about like, I'll say like an hour plus the diagnose and to replace it, yeah, about an hour. And that's how I show you how to test the whole evap system, smoke leak test it. So now I'm gonna clear it. Yeah, so if you guys are gonna buy the used um, canister, make sure you guys uh, smoke leak test it first. If it doesn't leak, then it's still good. Uh, if it leaks, then it's not good. Uh, if you wanna buy a new one, it's gonna cost you around $400. So I cleared it already. I'm going to turn off the car, turn it back on. So if you want to buy a new one, it's going to cost you around $400. But if you can find a, a good used one that still works, so just you can still use the used one. But uh, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, if you guys are new to my channel, please help me subscribe. If you guys have any comment, question, comment down below. Ask me anything you want to ask me. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. But uh, I'll see you on the next video. Do my amount. Peace.